Elon Musk played Halo and he shared his thoughts about it on Twitter. Some of your favorite content creators went head to head in a competition to see who would win and an epic update for Halo Infinite on January 18th. Do you want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you enjoy these kind of news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within the algorithm of YouTube. So today guys, we got a little conglomerate of news as you usually do on Monday mornings. We have Elon Musk talking about Halo Infinite, which is kind of cool. An absolutely epic content creator tournament was held over the weekend, which I took part in, and some cyber showdown details coming for us guys and a little a bit extra on top of that so if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo make sure you tap subscribe so let's not waste any more time and get right into the content here so recently on twitter one of the most legendary directors of all time john carpenter said halo infinite is a fun shooter immersive beautiful production design best in the halo series which if you don't know john carpenter his probably most famous work is creating the halloween series one of the most iconic horror films of all time. So this guy knows good content when he sees it, and he said he loved Halo Infinite, but someone else certainly did as well. Meme Lord, billionaire himself, Elon Musk also replied back saying, good campaign. Which is just kind of crazy to think that like famous people play video games and also on top of that are also playing Halo at the same time. But my memory, we didn't have this for Halo 5. We didn't have this for Halo 4 or Reach. Maybe not even a little bit of Halo 3 and a little bit of Halo 2 back in the day. It's just so weird seeing like people outside of the gaming sphere enjoying Halo. It just feels so weird because it feels like for so long in the Halo community, we've been just like in a bubble, right? Of just us Halo fans liking Halo and everyone else around it doing their own thing. But now that bubble is starting to have some cracks and people outside of the community are coming in playing Halo and really enjoying it. I know a lot of people right now, I see a lot of conversations on Twitter and in my YouTube comments, I read your comments guys, saying that like, Halo Infinite's in a really bad state, I quit the game because it's yada yada yada. And not to discredit your concerns because there certainly are issues with Halo Infinite, I would really like to see those be addressed. Like, a lot of things like customization, desync, store, which we'll be talking about a little bit later in this video actually. Just name a few issues. The review from Angry Joe, if you guys haven't seen, he recently posted up his review and it was actually pretty accurate, I would say, where the gameplay of Halo Infinite itself is a 10 out of 10. The campaign, like a 9 out of 10, 10 9.5 out of 10 kind of gameplay and story elements to that was just absolutely amazing. The multiplayer is really freaking good. I'm completely addicted. I don't want to play anything else right now. But everything else around the gameplay, Angry Joe put it at a 4 out of 10. And I would honestly kind of have to agree with him as well with the lack of co-op, the lack of forge, some of the features you would expect to be in a Halo game not really being there. Custom games being kind of iffy right now for to say the least. And the microtransactions being a bit strong which are getting updated tomorrow which we'll get into a little bit later. So there certainly is a lot of work to be done but I would still say that a lot of the, the nines and tens that we got from a lot of the game reviews out there I think are very true. Like Halo Infinite is a freaking amazing Halo game. It's kind of like that meme from Wonder Woman 1984 right where it's great but it could be better. Over the weekend, some of your favorite content creators went into a big competitive tournament, myself included. I was invited into this tournament as well. Super happy to take part of it. It was the captains of the Ackman, Chris Raygrun, Ubernick, as well as Hidden Xperia. We had a free for all kind of 1v1 kind of experience as well. And then we all got drafted. We ended the teams and went to 4v4 and also a big team battle kind of event as well over the weekend. And guys, Eckhart's Ladder held on this event and you put it up together, you got all the right people. The production was insane. HCS quality production, if not a little bit better, honestly. And the games were all super close, very entertaining to watch, and some of your favorite content creators took part in this as well. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch this and you enjoy watching some of your favorite content creators go at it, get a little sweaty in some Halo Infinite, well, this is definitely the, uh, the stream you guys wanna go back and watch. I'll leave a link in the description down below to my matches in particular that I played. So I highly suggest you go check out those matches and please go give a subscribe to Eckhart's Ladder. Like I put a lot of time and effort into putting this together for the Halo community and it was top notch. It seemed to do rather well. It might come back around again and if it does, I'll let you guys know on the channel here and hopefully we can take part in another exciting Spartan Masters tournament. And it came down to the absolute wire with Hidden Experience team with Hidden Xperia, Ice Bifle, Halo Follower, and Arash 
all winning the tournament all together, winning $2,000 in the process as well. And guys, the finish to this game had my jaw absolutely dropped. An absolute must watch if you guys enjoyed this. I Spyful also won the 1v1 tournament as well. So he walked away with like $2,500 for the weekend for just being a beast at Halo. Like I said, guys, please go give Eckhart Slider a subscribe, give him a follow. Maybe if you want to watch those replays, please do. Again, I have it linked all in the description down below for all the matches that I played. My performance, my first 1v1, I actually won. The second one, I lost to a guy who was like 1800 Onyx and I'm like Diamond 5. I was matched up with Team Raygun, which was Chris Raygun, Covenant Cannon, me, as well as Scalp Waka. And though the series went to the limit, every game was very close, we ended up losing two to one in the best of three series. But trust me, it was a lot of fun. And if I was gonna lose, that would be the way I'd wanna do it. We're right at, we're right outside, so close. That's double, that's double. Grab it, Kevin. Fuck, dude, let's do this. Hang it, chill. This should be cap, this should be cap. Yes! Oh, oh yeah, God. buddy! Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, oh my dude. God. Double, two down. Next one shot on our side. Got him, triple. Shit. Yes, sir, this should be cap. There we go. Yes! Sir. yes! yes! Wow, let's fucking go, boy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's fucking go. Oh, hell uh, yeah. That was good. That was it's good to know. So just to reiterate, again, please go follow Eckhart's Ladder. Give him a subscribe. Hopefully we can do one of these events again in the future. A great thing to look forward to this week is an update to BTB and actually have it working, which would be kind of crazy to think about. Saying targeting in the middle of this week as a hot fix, looking to have an ability to hopefully be able to play BTB for many of us out there. I haven't been able to play for a month and I'm missing it a lot. And so we're we'll really looking forward to being able to get a chance to do that. Uh, if you log in after the hot fix goes live, you'll be receiving five double XP tokens and five challenge swaps. But that's not all that's happening this week. The Cyber Showdown event is starting on January 18th guys bring us a whole new event pass really cool additions when it comes to customization and the store is also going to get a huge change multiplayer lead Andrew Witt said that there is a new mode coming with the cyber showdown as well and says let us know what you think about it next week which would make me think this is a new mode and nothing we've really played before in Halo Infinite most likely being the mode attrition which attrition was actually showcased within the season one trailer is what the way the attrition works it is a limited life team slayer mode with the ability to revive your teammates essentially last man standing wins kind of thing but the cool thing about it if the match runs a little too long or if there's too few people playing a battle royale-esque ring will close in on the map to press the issue now attrition by itself sounds like an awesome mode but the really crazy thing is is that the mechanic is there for a battle royale like circle to close in on the map. So 343 has built out the technology and developed it to where they if they wanted to just make a larger scale ring and you're good to go essentially. Obviously it's a little more complicated than that. But I'm just saying 343 has the capability to make a battle royale like ring which would mean that like making a battle royale mode in Halo Infinite could be very, very possible. Again, once we actually see this mode go live, guys, I will share it with you on the channel here. And if there are any interesting intricacies about it as well, I'll make sure to share it on the channel. But that's not the only new mode coming into the Cyber Showdown as well. This recent leak showcases that the Cyber Showdown will have Slayer, King of the Hill, One Flag, and CTF. This could possibly all be bundled into one playlist and attrition might just be its own separate playlist. Now I've seen some leaked images of the weekly rewards as well. Week one being a pretty cool looking visor, but week two of the event looking to be a armor coating, which is kind of like a black, gray, and yellow kind of coating with it. It does look like it could be pretty freaking sweet. I haven't seen it in action, but I've seen some leaks about it and I'm definitely will share it with you guys on the channel as soon as we get some concrete information about it. But another thing about armor coatings I wanna share with the guys that have been leaked, that I actually saw in game with the bots that are actually doing it right now within Halo Infinite, and that's some cool coatings that are gonna be part of the store for Halo Infinite. You can see this bot right here, I took a quick clip of showcasing the neon fly coating that's gonna be coming in with the Cyber Showdown event. But did you hear me say store changes? Well, you heard me correct because Jerry Hook recently went on saying starting Tuesday, the shop experience will vary week to week. We are focused on reducing prices across the board, providing stronger values in our bundles, starting to put individual items outside of bundles and more. 
And this is all coming with the Cyber Showdown event as well. So as soon as we get to see that information within the game, you know I'm gonna share with you guys to see how much of a price reduction is. Because technically a 10% reduction is a reduction across the board, but is it gonna be impactful enough? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, and I'll let you guys know on Tuesday morning when we have a chance to see what Halo Infinite and 343 is bringing for us. So if you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this place right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.